3D printing companies uh, have stepped in to fill a crucial coronavirus testing void. And our Josh Lipton has that story. Josh. So, John, one of the keys to reopening this economy is increasing testing and a key component to that testing, nasal swabs. In fact, President Trump now says he plans to use the Defense Production Act to increase swab production by at least 20 million per month. This is what it's about, right? Is it, uh, does it remind you of something? It reminds you of this, right? One's a swab, one's a Q-tip. It's actually different. It's very sophisticated, actually. But it's a little bit like, so this is the swamp. In this effort, help is now on the way from a group of tech companies, specifically 3D printing companies. And this started back in early March when physicians at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center in Boston identified the shortage of nasal swabs as a serious issue and invited others to join in and find a solution. A national consortium soon formed, including publicly traded companies like HP, private companies like Death Metal, and even U.S. military labs. Within just 22 days, there was a clinically validated prototype. Specifically, four new nasal pharyngeal swabs came from this clinical trial. Already three manufacturers are three 3D printing these swabs in high volume, including carbon. Its technology is now being used to produce 100,000 swabs this week alone. In three weeks, the CEO tells me, 1 million. Envision Tech, along with its network of users, is producing 500,000 swabs a day. And SF-based Origin is already producing more than 250,000 swabs a week. A source tells CNBC that HP is poised to start printing these swabs in the millions. Desktop CEO, Desktop Metal CEO Rick Follop tells me that one hope he has is that corporate customers remember after this crisis is over, how flexible, useful, and efficient 3D printing technology can really be.